It happened. I got a boat. I am pumped. Thank God. So guys, just a couple reasons why she went with the Pelican Bass Raider 10E. First off was the open deck. This boat comes with two seats. Usually I'm gonna be fishing by myself and sometimes I wanted to have the option to fish with other people. So I actually can just take one of those seats back and push that seat all the way to the far back and have an open deck. An open deck is huge as far as me being able to record and I actually want to do some fly fishing. So being able to have that open deck is gonna allow me plenty of space to do whatever I need to do. And I actually could set up a camera in the front and also the rear of the boat. So that's one of the reasons why I actually chose this boat. Number two, the second reason I wanted this boat and I chose it is because it's 10 feet. That's perfect for one or two people. Or if you're riding solo dolo. But you can simply slide this boat into the bed of your truck and you're all set. Now this boat is not too heavy. If you're reasonably strong and you have some guns, you can put it in your truck bed. Um, if you have back injuries, it might be somewhat of an issue, but it's not too bad. Now, I do imagine with two batteries decked out, it could be quite heavy. At that point, I may go with a trailer, but right now, I plan on just pushing it in the truck bed and hauling butt. So, that is the reason why I chose this boat. Third reason, this boat already comes wired. I want to deck it all the way out, run two batteries, and use a mini Carter 55-pound thrust trolling motor up front. And also, I do plan on running some pretty cool electronics in this boat. I want to go with a Garmin fish finder that does the down scan and everything else, either a 7 or a 9. So there you guys go. That is some of the reasons why I went with this particular boat. I can't wait to deck it out and see what craziness is going to happen in this Bassland machine. So let's move on to the next segment of this video. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we're standing up now, which is huge with swimbait fishing. This is one of the main reasons why I brought this, was to be able to stand up and fish. I wanted to be able to actively track my bait as it comes to the water column, versus on a 10-foot jumbo, that might not would have been that possible. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty stable for the most part. It's one of those things where you have to get used to the standing up in it and not be afraid to stand up in it, the same token. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> What's going on, guys? No, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, we got silly with us. <laughs> Alright, let's give it to the boat. So, we are pumped about the boat, so you guys be sure to tell us what kind of upgrades we should make on the boat. So, until then, tight lines, and we'll see you guys on the next video. You want to say bye? Hey! <laughs> Catch you later. I will always be a bank beater and I will still be fishing from the bank, but now we have a boat to switch things up and we can chase some hogs in new waters.